there is something happening when men and women in Des Moines and Davenport. In places like Des Moines and Davenport. Send me the bipartisan legislation. We need bipartisan solutions. Bipartisan. They're bipartisan. 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 The responsibility to ensure that we do not pass on to them a debt they cannot pay. They're sticking our kids with the bill. That's the same old, same old in Washington, D.C. The same old Washington. The challenges we face require tough choices. We've got huge challenges to overcome in this country. All of the candidates in this race have good ideas. We put our ideas and our experience out there on the table. We have been told we cannot do this by a chorus of cynics. Opponents of this message, they're seeking to marginalize this movement. When people are willing and to meet halfway and stand up for common sense solutions and values, then we want to work with them. Let's try common sense. A novel concept. Change in this country comes not from the top down, but from the bottom up. Our government's supposed to serve from the bottom up and not move toward this top down big government takeover. The top down, not the bottom up. We are ready to take this country in a fundamentally new direction. We have hope that we can move things in the right direction. Government is supposed to be working for the people. This is a government of and by and for the people. If you want real leadership and not just rhetoric. Tone down the rhetoric a little bit. They are ready to turn the page. They are ready to write a new chapter in American history. The Tea Party is the future of politics, and I am proud to get to be here today. But in my life, I have also learned that hope is found in unlikely places. There's hope everywhere. How's that hopey-changey stuff working out for you?